Charlie Four. Lima Romeo Romeo, and I'm in uh, Franklin, Tennessee, just south of Nashville. Hi, uh, very good. The, the call is Kilowatt Two, Bravo, London United, K2BLU. And, uh, yeah, you were 15 over, but I had uh, the preamp on. Generally, I, I don't use the preamp. And all the signals, most of the signals on 17 are coming in, at least right now, kind of low to me. So I, I, I put in the, the preamp, which I don't leave. Generally, I don't use, but uh, you're coming in fairly strong here. I, I think you're like a set, uh, an eight or a nine without the preamp, with the uh, with the changing propagation. Anyway, that was. Um, wh where are you located? Uh, I am 25 miles south of Nashville. Uh, just straight south of Nashville, down I-65, about 25 miles. Oh, I, I was in Nashville many, many years ago. I love that town. I don't know if it's it's probably changed like ev everywhere. But it was very gospel, very friendly. Um, I don't know if the Hyatt Regency Hotel is there. But I was in a band traveling around with a uh, famous band, and we stayed at the Hyatt Regency, and it was a very, the people were so friendly. It was so nice there. I would imagine after all this time, we're talking 1975, uh, things have changed a bit. Yeah, but you still got Southern hospitality going on everywhere here, and uh, you know it's, it's just a, a happening place. You got the Nashville Predators, you got the Tennessee Titans, uh, you know you got our uh, our junior division baseball team, and uh, you know college sports with Vanderbilt and the SEC, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just a great place. You know, there's all kinds of music stuff happening uh, still, uh, of course, and here in Williamson County, you know, we got a few. Few stars that live around here, Cheryl Crow did, uh, Dolly Parton, and Keith Urban and Nicole, and you know George Jones lived here, and just all kinds of other Phil Keggy, Leon, uh, 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 Peter Frampton did, and uh, uh, you know it's just it's just it's just a great place to be. Is it is always always something going on? That's for sure. Oh yeah, I would I would imagine. Um, well, you you're sounding good. Uh, you were a solid S9 there for a while. Went down to a 7, back up to a 9, and down to a 7. Are you running any power? Uh, yeah, I'm running a uh, uh, Kenwood uh, TS-890. Love this radio. Uh, Ohio GM4 microphone in the wide position. I got a 500-watt uh, uh, Elecraft combo, uh, and I'm getting old, about 250, 300 watts out of it. And uh, like I said, I'm on a 17-meter dipole up about uh, 20 feet or so. Yeah, well, it's nice to have wire in the air. I live in condo hell, so I can't put up an antenna. I'm limited limited to, like I said, a, a mobile antenna on the ground, and I change the uh, the uh, vertical element depending on what band I want to be on. But, yeah, you are anywhere between a 7 and a 9. Very good. I'm running here about 800 watts into that 7-foot uh, uh, whip. Uh, and what's my signal report? Oh yeah, you're the same. You're you're bouncing uh, S7 to S9. You know the QSV on the band. Just you know that's the way 17 meters is. But yeah, man, you're sounding good. No problem at all. Oh, well, that's that's uh, encouraging. Maybe later on when I come on, I'll hear some of that uh, DX that people were uh, were um, um, saying was so good from stations that they normally don't hear. So that's the whole purpose for my seven foot whip. Not much of an antenna, but if you can hear me in in Texas, that's uh, I guess uh, I guess it's working. I can see my amp isn't putting out as much as it normally does. I guess that's because um, I'm sharing 15 meters and 17 meters on my amplifier, so uh, that probably cuts down the power uh, for for both. You know, but that's okay. There's very little difference for a couple hundred watts. All right, thank you, uh, Philip. I appreciate the comeback, and uh, you're sounding good. I had an 890. It's a very nice radio, um, but uh, but I sold it three years later for what I paid for it because I got a really good deal on it. Uh, on a, um, it would happen to be a sale that day, plus there was a, also um, a sale because of the ham, ham fest going on, and so it was a whole bunch of things. So I ended up paying. Brand new, shipped to me, twenty nine fifty. So, so I'm sure the radio has gone up quite a bit since then.